Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm coming at you with a Copic marker speed paint, which I haven't done in quite some time. Um, to be entirely honest, I had to take some time off. I took a whole week to just kind of get my life together. Um, I wasn't feeling very well, and I've been working a lot, and I've been vlogging on my other channel, but I've just been really, 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 really busy. So that's what I've been spending my my week doing. Um, so I started this video, apparently I needed to update my journal first. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I sketched this drawing out while I was at work and um, I'm really happy with the, the finished result and I really hope that you guys are too. Um, I found some of my watercolor brushes while I was working on my office and unpacking boxes and stuff. So I used my watercolor brushes to do a nice wash on the paper when I first start. Right now I'm kind of tightening up the sketch and then I add this water which is going to add some washes to the, um, the background and everything which gives it a very soft sort of color. But then it also is going to add some really great texture for later on. Um, this green, it looks so vivid right now, but it will not stay that vivid for very long. I promise you that much. So, yeah. Anyway, um, if you guys haven't been watching my vlog channel at all, uh, I've just been really, really busy. Um, this past week, I have been working quite a bit, and then I worked on my office, and I had to get my inventory done for this year and get ready for taxes, and I've been organizing my prints and finding new homes for them, and... I went and bought some plastic covers for all my postcards, and I've, oh gosh, I can't even, it's just been a week. <laughs> uh, we went and saw The Hunger Games tonight, and it was fabulous. I'm really, really, really glad that we got to go see it. Um, I'm using the hair dryer here to speed up the drying process, which I've been doing a lot more lately because I'm really, really impatient and watercolor is not the medium for those of us who are super impatient. So I uh, use that to hurry the process along. Um, so for this drawing, I use the Copic marker Hazelnut quite a bit. It is my very, very favorite skin tone in the entire world. It is so pretty and it like, it, it kind of glows on paper, which is my favorite thing in the whole world. So yeah, I use that and then I'm using this teal color for her hair. And I kind of am free forming a little bit on this because I felt sort of constricted by the line art when I do the line art first. So instead of doing it that way, I'm doing it in a little bit more of like a painter sort of style. Um, I was watching a lot of Bob Ross while I was painting this, or not really painting, but painting with markers because i that's how I think of the Copics. Like even though they're coming out of a pen, they feel like watercolors to me, the way that they lay down and the way that they layer, even though you can't really move them around a whole lot once they're down, like you can with watercolor, you can sort of re, re react it to the water and make it move around a little bit more. But once this is done, it is done. So uh, there's that to contend with. But sort of not as well because the blender pen will help you to move things if you put them down in the wrong place. Um, so yeah, this drawing is really long, like really, really long. So I'm actually going to divide it into two separate videos um, because it's sped up pretty fast and it is still ridiculously long. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So I'm playing around with the idea for a new series, and this is sort of the sketch that started it all. 
Um, this is not going to be part of that series, but it is sort of the idea point for it. So be ready to see some really cool stuff coming. I'm planning on doing them digitally, but that could change. I don't know. I'm not super comfortable with digital media yet, so I don't want to sort of shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> so I'll probably at least draw it in real life and then I'll maybe add more details to it using digital. I don't know. I'm just not very good at digital media, but I do like that you can sort of do something and then change it. So at this point in the drawing, I am like, I don't know, probably an hour into it. Um, I had just started some Bob Ross up and was listening to it and really enjoying myself. And it's just, it's such a long draw. I can't, I don't even know how long it took. It probably took me close to six hours to finish. It's also kind of big. Um... I did this in my, what is your size? What are you? Strathmore watercolor. But I always use Strathmore pretty much because it's my favorite. But this one is the 400 series cold press watercolor paper in 11 by 15 inches, 140 pound. And I've done a few things in this book so far, but... I don't usually do things this big. I usually try to stick to the eight and a half by 11 range, but I'm trying to get myself used to drawing a little bit bigger so that I can fit more details into an individual painting. Um, I did pick up some gouache this week, so I'll probably fiddle around with that as well. Um, I have another drawing that's already done inside this notebook. And I'm planning on filming that tomorrow night. And that will probably be a Crayola challenge. I don't know. I'm back and forth on it. It's a pretty tight sketch. It's pretty good. But it could use some tightening up a little bit. And it's sort of in the same vein as the one that I'm finishing here. So I also don't really want to make it like bleh, too much of the same thing, you know. I'm not super great with geometric shapes, and you're going to see some geometric shapes start to take hold in this picture, and that's kind of frustrating. I took a long time on the hair. There are four different color markers in her hair to give it depth, and since I'm sort of free-forming the hair, um, it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't have a rhyme or a reason. It's just like a lump of hair which is good because that's kind of what hair really does is it like flows. It's not like water or like floaty. It has like gravity attached to it. So I tried with the gravity thing. Um, I do have a tendency to do underwater things if only because gravity is not the problem anymore. It's water and water makes things free flow and move upward and float around the face and stuff and I like the way that that looks a lot I like the like floofy sort of thing um but yeah this is a long long drawing like look at this it's gonna be 10 minutes before I'm finished with this first video which means that the second because I divided it like straight in half so that means the full video would have been 20 minutes long that's insane absolutely insane. Yeah. So I still have that coupon code going on right now, the Gobble 15 in my Etsy shop, if you're interested. I am by no means forcing you to buy anything. There is not going to be any issue where I won't be able to do my YouTube because people are not paying for things. That is never going to be a problem. Um, I just wanted to make it known so you get 20% off in the shop if you decide to stop by, which you don't have to. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the very next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. 
and I will see you soon. Bye.